Hi Year One, it's Miss Hattersley. I'm really happy that you enjoyed the ICE investigation and I really enjoyed looking at all your photos and videos on Seesaw. Your teachers tell me that your new science topic is materials, so I've rec recorded a new investigation for you. We are going to investigate the best material to make a boat out of and see if it will hold one of your small toys. You will need some paper, regular printer paper, exercise book paper is fine. If you've got different types of paper, you can try those out. You, um, if you've got any card, you can try using that. I've got some kitchen roll here I'm going to test and I've got a um, roll of tin foil. You're also going to need a washing up bowl with some water in or you can do this straight in the sink. My mum was busy in the, on the phone in, in our kitchen so I'm going to do it in here in my washing up bowl. But the sink or the bath will also work really well. So first of all, you need to design yourself a boat. It can be as simple and as, compl or as complicated as you like, and you might want to get a grown-up to help you. So I've um, found some instructions on the internet for a paper boat. This is my paper boat that I'm going to try out and see if it floats. Uh, you want to try and make choose the design that you can use to make each boat so that it looks as much the same as you can get it because that helps to make it a fair test. Before we, when we've got our boats ready, before we're going to test them in the water, I want you to make a prediction. That's what we call it in science when we make a guess about what we think is going to happen. So I want you to predict, I want you to guess and decide with your family which material do you think will make the best boat. Think about not just um, which materials are going to be waterproof so they won't let the water through, but also think about materials maybe that are strong, maybe that are light to all factors that would go to make a good boat. So we're going to find a small toy. So I've got a couple of different things to try out. I've got my friends, the Lego men again. I've also got a toy car. I think that might be a bit too heavy but I'm going to have a go anyway. And I'm going to test boats one at a time. So for the video, I'm just going to test my paper boat. But you're going to repeat this bit with all of the different boats that you make. I want you to leave them in the water for the same amount of time. And we do that because that helps to make it what we call a fair test. So we can trust our results. So I'm going to pop my boat in the water. Let's hope that it floats. Oh, I am just about floating. And then I'm going to put my, my toys in and see if it carries on floating. So oh, I've got one Lego man in there and it's not sunk yet. I've got two Lego men in there. It's still not sunk yet. I've got some more Lego men here. Make sure that you put the same amount of toys in each time. So there I've got three Lego men. Not so, it's not sinking. I want to make sure that I leave my boat in for the same amount of time because some of the boats, um, how well they float and how well they work as a boat might change over time depending on how much water they might take in, how much water they might absorb. So I'm going to try, tried with my Lego men. I know that they float with my Lego men. I'm going to see if I can get my boat to hold a toy car it might just be a bit too heavy oh yep I've sunk okay so that's why it's really important to make your make a good choice about what sort size of um, toy you're going to put in so maybe start with Lego men or something about that size some small pebbles um, Lego bricks all those things might work when you've done that, you might want to go on and investigate this further. So you could try out different objects that you can find in your house and see if they would work as a boat. You might have in your recycling things like yogurt pots or those plastic food trays or the trays that biscuits come in. You might use the bottom of a plastic bottle. You might use um, a carton. You might make a raft out of cardboard or even out of a sponge or some lollipop sticks. 
We would love to see how you um, get on. So we'd love you to take some pictures or record some short videos and share them with us on Seesaw. You might even do what I did and have a look on the internet and try testing out different shapes of boat. So I just Googled paper boat and it came up with all sorts of instructions and even some videos that will show you how to make a boat. So um, have fun and we look forward to seeing how you get on.